Hello students, welcome to the online classes of Cerebral Institute. This video on basics of accounting part 2 is brought to you by Cerebral Institute, sparking imaginative learning. Before watching this video, make sure that you have watched the basics of accounting part 1 in which we have already discussed about accounting, what is accounting and its main important terms which we have used in our accounting system. For your knowledge, again I am telling you the meaning of accounting. The record, accounting is the record of all financial transactions and information. It is a double entry system or you can say it is a double entry concept in which debit and credit side is there. Every entry has a debit side as well as a credit side. Accounting is an accurate, reliable and useful system for the management. I hope you all have understand. Now in this video we will discuss about the golden rules of accounts. Here I have mentioned the word golden. Why? Because the whole accounting system is based on these three rules only. That means if you will understand these three rules, then I think you will definitely able to solve all the accounting problems. So without wasting any time, let's discuss about the golden rules of accounting. First of all, we will discuss types of accounts. See, accounts uh, is a very wide term. It's a very vast term. Still, there are three main accounts, which is, first one is your personal account, second one is your real account, and third one is your nominal account. Personal account is linked with your, with the persons. Like, the person who is re receiving something or the person who is giving something. The personal entries will be recorded in your personal account. Next is your real account. Real account is the, um, you can say, it deals with what is coming into your business and what is going out of your business. All the transaction in which you are uh, your business is uh, receiving something or your business is giving th something all these transactions will be recorded in your real account next is your nominal account nominal account shows your profits your losses your gains and your expenses right let's move on here we go the first account rule that is your personal account rule. The rule is what? As I already told you that your personal account is linked with your receiver and the giver. Here the rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. That means the person who is receiving something from you, you will simply debit that person in your books of accounts. And if someone is giving you something, then you will definitely uh, you know enter that person in your credit side here the important thing is to be noted is that your personal account uh, rule is applicable only in the credit transactions please note only in your credit transactions why because if you are dealing in cash both the parties is receiving and both the parties is giving something right so there is no need to enter the name of that person if you are dealing in cash why because cash is coming into your business right and something is go going out if you are if you are selling something pay attention if you are selling something then the cash is coming into your business and the goods are going out and if you are purchasing something that, that means goods are coming into your business and cash is going out. So, in cash transaction, there is no need to record the names of the receiver or the names of the giver. 
your name of the receiver and name of the giver will be only recorded when your transaction is of credit basis i hope you all are understanding we'll see an example for it example is purchased goods goods from mr x for rupees 1 lakh on credit basis here you are purchasing goods from mr x right it means goods are coming into your business but you are not giving cash to mr x why because you have promised to pay the cash within a specified time that means here mr x is your giver according to this rule you will credit mr x so your entry would become like this purchase is account purchase is account debit to mr x account from rupees 1 lakh but our other amount is right i hope you all are understanding again, once again i am telling you that in your personal account only your receiver and giver will be debited or credited the person who is receiving something will be debited and person who is giving something will be debited credited sorry okay example sold goods to mr x for 50000 on credit basis here you are selling your goods to mr x from your business goods are going okay and mr x is receiving the goods right here you are selling your goods but mr x is not giving you the cash why because it is on the credit basis that means mr x is receiving that means mr x is your receiver and that means mr x will be debited in your accounts so the entry will become your uh, mr x account debited to sales account from rupees 50000 and rupees 50000 i hope you all are getting whenever you are selling your goods your sales account would be credited and in case you are purchasing something your purchase account will be debited i hope you are understanding what i am saying let's move on next account is accounting rule is real account real account as i already told you deals with what is coming into your business and what is going out from your business whatever is coming into your business you will be debited it and whatever is going out from your business you will credit that thing so here the rule is debit what comes in credit what goes out as simple it is example bought machinery for 5000 on cash right here your transaction would be on cash basis why because if you are doing cash transaction something will come out uh, something will come into your business and something will be going out of your business so the entry is bought machinery for 5000 on cash here you are purchasing machinery that means machinery account will be debited what is coming into your business is machinery and what is going out from your business is your cash so simply the entry will become machinery account account debited to cash account for 5 lakh done i hope you have understood the concept next is your nominal account nominal account rule is what as i already told nominal account deals with your expenses gains your income and losses here the losses and expenses will be debited and income and gains will be credited so the rule is as simple debit all losses and expenses 
and credit all income and gains you will debit your losses and uh, expenses and you will credit your income and gains example salary paid here if you if you uh, if you are an owner right and uh, there are 25 employees in in your business so you are giving salary to salary to your employees so here salary would be your expense so debit all expenses that means your entry would be salary account debited to cash account right why salary debited because salary is your expense and why cash is credited because cash is going out from your business i hope you have understood next is another example interest received interest received means you have received something that means it is your income so according to the rule you will credit your income so you are receiving rupees that means you are receiving the cash so what is coming into your business is cash right so here would be the entry is cash account debited to interest received account with 15000 and 15000 so three accounts three rules and three techniques i hope everything is clear to you now i hope you are able to do the accounting sum thank you for watching the online class of cerebral for more details and queries please contact cerebral coaching point have a nice day